In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to live stream to Facebook Live without using OBS or any other streaming software. In fact, we're just gonna be using a DSLR camera connected directly into our computer. So this is super cool again because you don't need any software. You just go directly from your camera to Facebook Live. Now, this is gonna come with some limitations. Obviously, there's some other things that you cannot do that come with a streaming software. But if you need, you simply need to just go live and talk to your people with just your camera and a microphone you actually don't need the software so let's actually not take much time let me show you how to do this what's going on guys my name is sam you're watching live production tips and tools helping you master live streaming now just a quick reminder that the same concept actually would apply if you were using a webcam obviously using a dslr or in my case i'm using a mirrorless camera comes with a big advantage of having an interchangeable lens which means you can actually add a better lens change the lens and the video quality is gonna be really really awesome so without taking much time i'm gonna show you first what kind of gear that you need the first thing obviously you're gonna need the actual camera in my case i use my panasonic gh5 but again there's so many other cameras out there It'd be sony zve 10 like so many cool cameras canon cameras whatever camera that you have whatever dslr or mirrors that you have it should be able to work no problem just make sure it has what's called hdmi out a clean hdmi output okay that's gonna allow you to connect an hdmi output from the camera next you're gonna need obviously an actual hdmi cable this is the hdmi cable we're gonna be using for today and then the next thing you need what's called a capture card this is what it looks like So basically a capture card is one side it's gonna be usb and the other side is gonna be hdmi so like an hdmi converter really it's gonna convert an hdmi signal into usb for you to be able to connect your camera to your computer next thing that i recommend i recommend you get some sort of microphone attached directly to your camera why in my case i have a little shotgun microphone again i'm gonna give you some recommendations down below in, in description of some of the gear that i will actually recommend if you have questions let me know leave a comment down below as well why do i recommend to attach a microphone directly to your camera is because you want to avoid some sort of delays and you know like your lips mismatching with your image you know because sometimes if you're using an external or a usb microphone again you can try it but if you can try using a microphone connected directly to your camera okay the next thing what we're gonna do we are going to connect everything so the first thing we're gonna connect our microphone to the camera super super straightforward depending on the camera that you have you should have what's called a cold shoe or hot shoe they're gonna be able to connect your microphone directly into the camera just like so just find the audio jack or the audio input on your camera connect your microphone into the camera and you should be good so this is what it's gonna look like okay again you may have a different microphone it doesn't matter next up we need to connect our hdmi cable to the camera now i recommend you have some sort of stand or tripod okay in my case i have this little monopod again this is not the main camera i'm just doing this just to demo to show you guys but this is what it would be like just to make sure it's stable and you're gonna position it in front of you okay so what we can do now we're gonna go ahead and connect one end of our hdmi cable into the capture card just like so and the other end is actually going to connect to our camera on the hdmi port now if your camera doesn't have full size hdmi you may need to buy a little adapter if it has what's called a micro hdmi just buy a tiny adapter that will convert micro to full size hdmi that will still work as well so connect the hdmi cable into the camera and then next we're gonna take this usb and connect into any usb port on your computer all right so now that we have everything connected my camera is connected and everything's connected to my computer what we need to do i'm gonna go ahead and turn on the camera so right now the camera isn't actually turned on it's not filming me okay it's just filming my white wall okay of course assuming you want to position your camera in a position where it looks like what i have here in my studio so make sure you get an image that looks like what you're actually seeing right now okay so this is just for demo purposes okay so you 
you have your camera assuming it's uh, looking at you right now okay so what you need to do you need to go to your facebook page or your facebook where you want to live stream now i've got my facebook page right now open again you can stream in a facebook group and you can stream your personal facebook profile it doesn't matter okay you need to go here where it says what's on your mind and go under live video and then go to where it says go live okay and then click go live here okay and then what we're gonna see now we're gonna see two options the first option says select a video source or another which is like a webcam and then another option is stream main software so this is if you want to stream using something like obs or, or any other streaming software but for us we want to stream using the webcam option so we're gonna go ahead and click webcam and then we're gonna go here where it says under camera controls and as you can see we have so many video inputs option including my atm mini pro including my other video capture card but i have this one capture card it's called the usb video so depending on which capture card your capture card may be branded it could be something like cam link it could be a, a switcher like something like the atm mini pro doesn't matter it's gonna show up here but mine is called the usb video because it's not branded okay so i'm gonna go ahead and actually choose that one and then for audio we want to use the same audio coming from our microphone on the camera so we can go ahead again you can use a different audio audio source okay like right now i could use this microphone but to make sure everything is in sync i want to make sure everything's connected directly into the camera so i'm gonna go ahead and choose usb digital audio which is exactly the same capture card okay so i'm gonna go ahead and choose that one and as you can see right now i have a signal okay you can see my camera is coming in let's see if i show you like i go around you can see that i'm showing you my studio right now okay so if I wanted to face me, for example, so you can see that the camera is looking at me right now. Okay. Again, you would have to position your camera in a position that makes sense. Right now, I'm just recording this video. So if I was positioning, if I had this camera kind of facing me, obviously you would be able to see me. Okay. So that's how you connect everything. And for you to be able to go live on Facebook, what you need to do is you're going to go ahead where it says add post details. Okay because the main thing is really to get the signal into facebook okay once you have it you're good okay so what you need to do here you're just gonna go add you whatever your stream is about so let's say for us it's just testing and then you add the title and description we're gonna call it testing and hit save and as soon as you have this man the next step really is to just hit go live and you're gonna be able to go live on facebook facebook page whatever profile whatever you have chosen but this is what it is as you can see you have a signal you have your audio coming in no problem and you are ready to go okay again i don't want to go live right now because people will be confused i'm just recording a video but this is how you do it guys and this is how you can just go live with your camera and a microphone and then be able to talk to your people now if you want to do things like oh i want to share my screen or i want to add another scene where probably doing a powerpoint presentation or i'm gonna i just want to maybe you know be a more a little more flexible maybe use a different microphone that's not attached to my camera or i want to use multiple angles multiple cameras i will actually advise you to use something like obs in that case instead of using the webcam you're gonna go ahead and choose a streaming software option okay and then you can connect your camera to obs and it obviously this is gonna give you unlimited possibilities and creativity so to do that i'm gonna recommend you watch my next video where i'm gonna show you step by step how to go live to facebook live and do all the juicy stuff using obs and i'm gonna link the video right here so make sure you check it out and i'll see you there guys Take care.